Hello, my name is David Finney and I am a Big Fix technical advisor based out of Denver, Colorado. Today I'll be discussing web UI custom content creation. Uh, if there are any questions about what I've discussed or covered today, um, you'll see my email there uh, just below my name. Feel free to reach out if there's anything that I could follow up with you on and I'll be happy to write you back. Okay, jumping right in. Um, this is my console here where I'm actually going to, well, this is the backend root server where basically we're gonna be creating that content through the uh, web UI this is where it's gonna land. A um, Couple of quick notes. Um, I am gonna be kind of duplicating one that I built earlier. Um, I'm actually gonna be using, this as kind of a little bit of a framework. This, this job here basically all it does is create a user uh, red on a window system and dumps it into the administrators group. So I'm gonna show you, and, and like I said, of course you can start with scratch for you know just about any of this. Um, it really is kind of the same same end, uh, just different, different method of getting there. Um, but basically all it does is, first off it detects whether or not it's a uh, you know, Windows operating system. So you can't obviously do the same method for uh, creating users and other operating systems besides Windows. Uh, but yeah, you'll actually see this, um, you know, the way that the action script itself works. I have tested this, this does work. Um, I did have to mess around a little bit with some of the uh, the relevance language. So I still recommend, you know, any kind of custom content creation, you know, still still use your Fixel debugger uh, for generating your action scripts, make sure it does what you expect it to do, as well as, you know, working your way down to actually uh, get yourself the relevance language for making sure it's not uh, reaching systems you don't expect it to. Uh, Fixel debugger is kind of just something you want to use all the time. Um, I'm going to jump over to my web UI now. I'm already logged in. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to apps and I'm going to go to custom. And I'm going to create custom content. And I'm just going to call this create user red web UI. Because I currently uh, have a similar job. So I'm just kind of recreating that here. Um, you can put yeah, any description you want here. And the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and set the relevance real quick, which I'm actually going to steal from my Fixlet debugger. This is a very basic relevance clause. You could probably even tighten this up a bit more by putting something like does not exist, you know, user red, so you're not running over the path. Um, you do have to make sure you hit this site. Um, I'm gonna drop in an action site for this uh, demonstration purpose. Um, you could put this obviously in any site that you guys want. Um, other than that, you could set any of this data that you see here. Anything is really, you know, anything you feel is needed, you can actually add an icon uh, for the job itself. Uh, just represents in the web UI, so sometimes that's kind of neat to do. Uh, but the actions itself. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said, I'm actually going to steal from this one here, uh, just to, just for this purpose here. Um, just going to quickly just edit this actions, grab this these three lines since I already tested over in my Fixlet debugger. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new line there. And there's just the basic steps. Obviously default uh, action is what I'm doing here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, for this one, um, I'm not expecting the relevance to evaluate false, um, just cause you know, it's, we, we don't have any you know, relevance language that's tying to that particular piece. So for this particular one, I'm just gonna let it just go through the lines and just, if it gets through all of them, great. You can wipe out this first line if you want to. I'm just gonna leave it there for the time being. Um, and then you can also get it set up to the point where you can evaluate certain relevance to, to go false to call it complete. Um, really, whichever way works best, you know, uh, for what particular action you're running. Um, but that's basically it. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it here. And there you go. That's, that's basically it. Um, it'll probably take a few minutes for the actual uh, applicable devices to roll in. Um, probably not terribly long, but probably a little, uh, you know, a couple minutes maybe. Uh, but then from there, you know, once you've created this task and you start getting applicable devices, you can actually deploy the content directly here. Uh, it is uh, able to be searched and found inside the custom content area. You can search for the, uh, what is now, you know, like a fixed litter task. Um, so it's pretty easy to kind of work with from there. It's, it's pretty quick to actually build these out. I was gonna see if I could get at least a single device to roll in as applicable to it. it takes it just a moment. 
Um, but yeah, you can also see your deployment history on the task if you go back in and you actually find this Fixlet. Uh, these are all the kind of you know overview tab of what you built. Um, and you're always able to go back in and actually edit this custom content as well. So it's pretty easy to kind of backtrack and then you know go in there and actually modify it if you wanted it to. See if we get any applicable devices yet. Okay, cool. We got a couple of them that have rolled in. And so if I were to deploy this, um, you know, basically I can either check them here and hit deploy or I could just hit deploy custom content. And from here, it'll show you my devices. Looks like another one is rolled in. And I'll just go ahead and actually send this one against uh, this particular system. And let's see here, that looks good. You can obviously do any kind of uh, post action setup or anything else that you want to see. And I'm just going to go ahead and deploy that. And that's pretty much it. So that was from the creation of the uh, custom content web UI all the way to a basic deployment. And uh, yeah, that's basically how it works. Thank you for joining me today for the Big Fix web UI custom content creation video. Uh, as always, if there are any questions, feel free to reach out and uh, we'll be happy to follow up with you.